don't freak out. I got a hack for that, all right? So if you have to do electron configurations, this is something you can do on your periodic table so you can answer any of them with no problem. Start by putting a number one where those first two columns are, or your first two groups, a number two where your other set of your main group elements are, a number three where your transition elements are, and then a number four for those inner transition metals. All right, then you're gonna label each of the groups or columns with their appropriate subshells. So put an S for those first two columns, a P for those second six, a D for the middle one, and then a F for the bottom one, the inner transition, all right? So those numbers are gonna be your guiding light to help you get these right. So the ones are telling you what number, what energy level you're starting on, and then the letters tell you what subshell you list. You would then count your columns along the way and write down everything you pass. Okay, so let's try doing this for arsenic, all right? So if we're doing arsenic, start from the beginning. All right, so first things first, you're at number one, and we're gonna go through the S subshell and those two columns, the hydrogen helium. Then we go down the row, act like a typewriter, and now we're gonna say two, S2, because we've gone through that S sublevel. We get over to the other side and we go through our P subshell, which started at two, so we write two P6. Wrap back around. We then have our three S2 that we have to account for. Jump over to the other side of the periodic table, and if we started at two, we now would write three P6 to account for all of those in that group. Then wrap back around, typewriter style. Write the number four. We started at one, we're now at four. Four S2, count the columns. Now when we enter that D subshell, we have to account for the fact that it starts on three. So you're gonna write three D10. And then we go back into the P sublevel and we would write four P3 to account for the actual number of electrons that we've counted, okay? So I hope this helps.